Let's learn about today. I'm going to teach you a very easy way to learn how to hold the violin bow. Are you ready? First, we need to know what everything is called. This is the frog. Yes, the animal frog. If it helps you, this could be the tongue. And this is the frog. This is called the screw. What it does, it, it tightens the hair. So you can see my hair getting tighter. And if I turn counterclockwise, the hair is going to get closer to the stick. All right. And we don't want to be too loose. We want to be at least uh, fit your pinky in the middle of the bow without touching the hair. All right. Now, this is called the tip of the bow. Duh, right? And this part, very important, is called the hair. You see how I'm not touching the hair? We're not supposed to touch it because we have human grease and oil on our hand. No matter how clean your hand is, there's always some kind of oil. If you touch the hair, your bow is not going to sound good. All right, very important. Never, ever touch the hair. First, you're going to use your left hand to hold on to the stick. Second, you're going to use your right hand to make a quiet coyote. Very important point is your thumb should be touching the, first, the top knuckle of your middle two finger. Here you go, your quiet coyote. Now pause this video and get a marker because I'm going to ask you to do some marking on your right hand. The first one is going to be at the top left corner of your thumb. The second one is your bottom knuckle of your index finger. Last one is the tip of your pinky finger. Let's check out the contact point on the bow. I put a little sticker over here so you know where to put the thumb. One thing very important is when we put our thumb on this contact point, Make sure your thumb is not going to go through the bow. A lot of people like to do that, but no, we don't want to. We want to put it on the corner of the bow. You can see my sticker over here and the marking on my thumb here. And I'm going to mesh them up. See how I'm just on only touching the inside of the bow and not going through the bow. All right, we want to be right here. So it's like half touching the wood, half touching the frog over here. The other two contact points is the tip of the pinky and the side of the index finger. We're gonna be leaning our index finger on the stick and the tip of our pinky is gonna be on top of the stick, all right? Thumb touching the inside of the bow, index finger lean, tip of the in pinky, and two middle fingers are going to be on each side of the thumb. There you go. Easy peasy. Before you go, let's do a quick bow hold together. Left hand holding the stick, hair facing down, making a quiet coyote, opening up, thumb touching the inside of the bow, half on the stick, half on the frog. The middle two fingers are going to be on each side of the thumb. Tip of the pinky is going to be on top of the stick. Side of the index finger is going to be leaning onto the stick. Here you go. How do you do? Let me know. 